Hi guys, I'm Lord17, welcome back to the channel. Here's your news for today. So guys, welcome back. I said news for today. First bit, Minecraft Dungeons. It's had its first DLC detailed and it's called Jungle Awakens. It's in now July. It has three new missions, weapons, armor and artifacts. The second DLC, which has also been announced, has been called Creeping Winter, although a date and details of what's included have yet to be announced. Although the main game had a mixed review upon release, recent reviews have been more favorable and the game is now sitting at a 75 Metacritic score and an 8 on the user ratings. The main concern for the game was its, its general, general length, uh, with some people completing the game in a little over 3 hours. So we can only hope that the DLC that has been announced add a few more bits of content other than just a few extra missions uh, maybe some side quests uh, and some other bits and pieces to do so guys some fortnite news uh, so after an initial delay for season three uh, it's now been pushed back again uh, this time just by a week uh, so the new release date for the start of season three is saturday june 6th and it is to go live at 7 p.m. British summer time, 8 p.m. Central European time. Uh, be sure just to use the extra time wisely. Make sure to try and finish off your Battle Pass challenges and any other initial in-game challenges. So guys, keeping with Battle Royale, Call of Duty Warzone has just had another update and this time it's enabled a much requested feature for duos. So now your squad options are singles, duos, trios and four player squads. Uh, this new mode is in preparation for Warzone and Modern Warfare Season 4, which kicks off June 3rd. So, our final news story for today is Sony. Uh, Sony have been in the news a lot lately for their state of plays and their now PS5 uh, reveal event for the games at least, hopefully for the console, but we shall have to wait and see. Um, but Sony have said... Um, that they don't want their PS5 games to be backwards compatible with PS4 like uh, Xbox and the Xbox Series X have said. Uh, so what they're saying is they want their PS5 to take advantage of the features and the hardware inside the PlayStation 5 and be specifically for that with no compromises. Whereas Xbox are saying they want uh, a full roster of games to be completely playable whether you're on the Xbox One or the Xbox One Series X, which I completely understand, and I don't have an issue with either of these options for how they're tackling the games and the launch library. Obviously, it looks on paper better for Microsoft because they can say they've got a much deeper library of games straight out of the bat, whereas Sony might have uh, a handful of exclusive launch titles, titles uh, first party at least. Uh, obviously, they'll share the third party titles with Microsoft, although which ones will look better on which console uh, is hard to say because developers could be uh, specifically tailoring the PS5 game to the PS5 knowing they don't have to worry about the PS4 whereas the Series X they could be uh, focusing on the Xbox One and then just adding some enhanced versions uh, pretty much like they do with the Xbox One and their Xbox One X and as PS4 do with the PS4 and the PS4 Pro so it will be interesting to see how developers tackle this um, again I don't have a preference, but I do like Sony's way of doing this. Uh, I think that the new hardware, the new, you know, the next gen, should have its own games that take full advantage of the hardware. I don't want to see a game that's made for the PS5 being held back because they want it to run on the PS4. I want to see what the PS5 can do straight out of the bat. Uh, so that's that. Uh, uh, Sony have said though that obviously PS4 games that are made after a certain date have to be compatible with the PS5. Uh, this is so that also the library when the PS5 launches, the games library is that much bigger and that games will run out the door. There's no additional work required. So what Sony has said to developers is that from the beginning, I believe, of July 13th, all PS4 games submitted for certification must be compatible with the PS5. Guys, it's not long now. Next Thursday is at the real events of Sony and the PS5, or at least the games. Um, so we'll have to wait and see then to see if there's any news on the console, any news on release dates, any news on what the console may look like. Uh, that's your news for today. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Thank you for watching the channel. Please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.